had zero subscriber. I wasn't um, confident enough to talk about. So my graduation depends on my channel. This is Sumin and I'm the owner of this channel. Well, actually I was gonna film this video and upload this for the first video of my channel when I open it, but I wasn't um, confident enough to talk about who I am and what I'm gonna do with this channel because back then I had zero subscriber. I had nobody in my channel. My first subscriber was my boyfriend james honestly i didn't expect to have lots of subscribers at the beginning so i was like no one would care i'm just gonna upload other videos then some stuff about me but now it's been nearly a month actually tomorrow is gonna be exactly a month since i uploaded my first video on this channel and i have okay i have 748 subscribers okay 748 and the view the views that i'm getting yeah i think like two three of my videos have like this each and pretty much every single video has over like a couple thousand views and this is insane i when i uploaded my first video on my channel I thought I would get maximum like a hundred subscribers. 80% of them are my family and friends. <laughs> but this is insane. I didn't expect to have more than a hundred subscribers like at all. It's only been a month and this is this is insane. This is amazing. I don't I'm not quite sure why you you guys are watching my videos, but thank you. This means a lot to me and I really really appreciate it so now I'm a little confident to talk about what I'm doing on the internet here so in this video I'm going to be talking about why I started YouTube and also I am gonna try to put that little timeline link down below but I'm not sure how to do that yet but i will try to find a way so if you are bored of me being talkative you can always skip to the point but hopefully you don't get bored and hopefully you don't skip this video and get to know me better doing youtube is quite natural step for me considering my educational journey considering what i've been done for the last five to six years so let me just quickly sum up my educational journey basically i have two bachelor degrees the one that i took in south korea which is visual media and the one that i took here in the uk which is digital film and television production and currently i'm doing a master's in filmmaking um, and also right before i came to the uk i was a part-time blogger um, i had my own blog and um, a couple thousand people used to come to visit my blog every single day so thanks to them i could be able to use my blog as my cv as my workplace if that makes sense it wasn't a lot of money but that was very interesting experience because that was the moment when i realized that blogger or youtuber could be actual professions i always wanted to do youtube but to be honest i was just being lazy just okay i'm gonna do it later and just forget about it for like a couple of months and then i realized that oh yeah i should start youtube and yeah i was in the virtual circle and then i finally decided to open my channel mainly for my final project i'm doing my last semester of masters which means i have to do my final project and do my dissertation to graduate since i've been only study media and film i thought why don't i make a little documentary about myself to see all the past educational years was worth it and i thought youtube was the perfect platform that i can prove or just 
see if I could use all of the stuff that I've learned from school because with my channel I have to do all the research film I have to edit and I have to just you know control this channel by myself I thought it would be a great idea for my final project so yeah that's the main reason why I actually decided to open my channel so my graduation depends on my channel my graduation depends on you guys no pressure but I don't know if I would be able to graduate the second reason why I am doing YouTube is because um, to be completely honest with you, I think I'm living in the most important chapter of my life at the moment. For the last five years, I actually had like really confusing moment, confusing time because I was born and raised in South Korea for 20 years. I went to Canada, which is my first time going abroad by myself. Everything was so different. People, the culture, how they talk, how they think, how they live was completely different than the one in Korea. Since then, I was really confused because as a person who live in a different country, I have to accept like certain cultures just to be able to live there otherwise i wouldn't fit in anywhere but at the same time there are some cultures that i don't feel completely comfortable accepted i was like in betweener everywhere i was like stranger everywhere especially since i moved to the uk um, i didn't came to the uk just for like you know six months one year or two years I came to the UK for like several years and I was thinking about maybe settling down in the UK, getting a job. So I think in general, I was just always confused. So for last uh, five years, my environment has changed and my personality has changed a lot. So yeah, I was very confused. But I feel like now I'm more like relaxed and now I know how to be who I am. It sounds really cringy, but that's how I feel with my life at the moment. And then I met my boyfriend, James, which means a lot to me because I was always scared of relationships in general, or more like maybe I was scared of all the commitments. But with James, I am feeling comfortable with commitments. No, I'm still scared of it, but yeah, I don't, I don't really worry about any stuff when I'm with him. So yeah, basically, this is just my important moment of my life. I just want to document all the moments of my life. And it's going to be really fun watching all of my videos after like one or two years and thinking like, oh, Sumin, what were you thinking? But the important thing is that I know what I'm doing and I am ready to take all the responsibilities of what I'm doing right now. The last reason is actually quite emotional and at the same time, it's quite um, important to me as well. Just me talking to camera, knowing that there is going to be people who's gonna listen to my story, who's gonna be happy with me, who's gonna be angry with me. It's very therapeutic. Like I said earlier, I used to work as a blogger. Since I'm not in Korea anymore, I couldn't do that. So I've started writing journals on my blog and I didn't really expect any people would read it because it's my journal, it's my personal stuff. But occasionally I meet people who completely understand my situation because they also been there done that it is like fascinating because i feel better after talking to them i don't know their real name i don't know their face and sometimes i don't even know if this person is male or female but just with the fact that we understand each other with one common like i could actually talk to them and we both feel better after that it's like therapy session me laying down on the sofa talking to the therapist i don't know maybe it's me being crazy but i find it really therapeutic and it really helps me every time i upload videos on my channel quite a lot of people like bunch of people who don't know me leave some comments down below and uh, they're so nice how come there are so many nice people on the internet 
every time I read the comments, I'm like, oh my god, these people, this person is so nice, and why are you being so nice to me? Oh my god, what did I do to deserve you? I think ever since I started YouTube, um, I feel less lonely. I don't know how to thank you guys. Seriously, I don't know. Just tell me. Just tell me what you want from me. Okay, just kidding. Yeah, so those are three main reasons why I'm doing my YouTube channel and hopefully you got to know me better and now I don't know how to end this video. If you have any video ideas, just comment down below so that I can steal your idea. It's not like me running out of ideas. If you have any opinions, if you have any video ideas, any suggestions, please comment down below and I will try to make videos based on your opinions. So yeah, that's, that's, that's it. So thanks for watching my videos and see you later.